while I eat, I will talk about a spray tan. So when you compete, you will be needing to get a spray tan, obviously. It doesn't matter how dark your skin is, you will need a spray tan. Um, so there's like either you can contact your the promoter of the show and find out if or look on the website and find out if there is like a spray tanning um, company that does the spray tans for the show or if you need to like outsource and either apply it yourself or find someone else that does competition spray tans after that they'll give you instructions for like skin prep basically you'll have to shave your entire body arms stomach back like I you like I literally like have to have someone shave shave my back my mom generally does that um so you'll have to uh do all that you'll exfoliate the crap out of your skin and uh you will most likely get a spray tan third you get a coat thursday uh and friday so you'll get like your initial coat thursday and then sometimes you can shower that off sometimes you can't you have to ask obviously uh, and then you'll go and get another coat Friday or sometimes Saturday morning they'll do like touch-ups and stuff but you don't want to be wet and sticky the day of the show uh, so letting it soak in your skin and like, the best way for it to like really look like it's on you and the reason why that you have to shave like your arms and stuff is that because if you don't it actually even if you say like I have really fine hair thin hair blonde hair whatever uh, it will sit on top of the hair and you want it on your skin. So it'll sit on top of the hair and then it will like rub off. So you don't want that. Um, you can't wear deodorant because uh, you will turn green. I told you guys to turn green, but it's not because I wore deodorant. It's literally because like, generally like, places that are like warmer, you will uh, turn green. Um, so like under my armpits turn green, my chest turns green. Uh, you're a sweaty person. You'll probably turn green. So, that's probably it for tanning prep. Um, you'll, you, you can apply a glaze uh, over your tan so you look like shiny and beautiful on stage. Um, and another huge thing, don't spray your face, don't tan your face, only like one coat the first time you tan. But other than that, probably nothing. Ask questions if you have them. I'll answer. I'm pretty open and honest about the weird stuff in prep. So ask them. Hey guys, it is Sunday, April 25th, 4th maybe. And I am just home from posing. On Sundays, I pose every week with a group with my team. Uh, and so I'm just home from posing. I am home from the store. I pick, had to pick up some ground beef and asparagus and zucchini and blueberries. And But now that I am four, less than four weeks out, to my first competition of the season, I'm going to be doing so much competition guide prep stuff for the competitors that need uh, need some guidance. So first things first, this is my hair extensions from Tori V Hair. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. Um, they are curled and kind of blended in with my hair, so that's a huge thing. That if you have really, I have really thick hair, but uh, but if you have really fine hair, you're gonna want hair extensions if it's uh, to make it just like look a little bit fuller. Um, let's see if I can get. So Tori, these are like amazing. They she'll match your hair color if uh, if it is not. If you don't know what color to order from her website, but she's amazing. This is here. See if you can see me. Um, what I bring in my suitcase for the day because you're gonna want to.
suitcase because you're carrying a lot of stuff and you do not want uh, marks on your arms um, from carrying bags because that will happen through your through your uh, team best through your body, yeah you're that's not okay. All right. I'm blurry. Can you take a picture? Let me just record. No, it's a video. You're in the video too now. Came in with my long hair, and uh, Andy was like, "Who is this girl in my in the bedroom?" Oh, <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen too. I knew I was gonna walk in, and he was gonna wake up and see see the long hair and be frightened. But now we're gonna eat. For the first time, because yesterday had quite a big cheat meal, two cheat meals, two cheat meals. Is that what we did? It was, it was, it was a cheat meal. Does it count as two? It was a meal and dessert. It was a meal and dessert, and it was split up. We went to Denny's after our leg workout, and I got cinnamon pancakes with like that cream cheese stuff all over it. You can look at my Instagram if you want to see a picture of it. And then like a veggie skillet and he uh, and a lumberjack he was stand. a lumberjack and had yeah, the lighting stand over here. Um, and then we what did we do after that? We, uh, we uh, did we some we, we did some then errands then. and he went to work and then we went to, po no we did we went, we post. We did post. No, we did that after post. No, we, we posted. We, we, we went. We went. All we, we did post. yesterday was pose, oh, yeah. workout, eat, and then eat some more. Yeah. So, and then we went and got froyo, which I didn't post that because yeah. that was inappropriate. But my weight yesterday. Talk about talk about my weight real quick. My weight yesterday was one twelve, and today it was one sixteen. So, over the next few days, I will <laughs> figure out. Uh, what my weight is but till then gotta eat so now we eat french toast and get ready for a full upper body workout at the gym and some cardio most likely someone asked me someone was like this is a fitness like <laughs> video channel or a vlog and i was like um it's both guys i am i do fitness things but uh, this is my life, and I'm just going to show it to you. Like, who has breakfast without Walton Farms pancakes here? So, yeah, it's 1130, and this will be my first meal of the day because I am still full from yesterday. It does not feel like four weeks out, but a cheat meal when you are on target uh, is probably... One of the best things that you can do. And the fact that he and I both had a refeed on the same exact day. It was the first time that it's happened this prep because my cycle is different than his. So it was nice to be like a normal couple for a little bit and go out to eat. Oh, oh to my camera? To YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I'm talking to you. I'll buy. He'll buy. I want the go ahead for another cheat meal. This was the summary from the workout that was fueled by Denny's and it was two hours. I don't usually do two hour workouts. It's kind of ridiculous, but uh, I had a lot of energy. So this is, that's what it looked like. And then we did some posing because <laughs> we're always posing. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, when you are prepping, you really need to be posing like, what weird, uh, wherever and whenever you can. Um, in the grocery store, in, the in, the sh in my shower, knocking. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he, takes, he takes long showers and I hear banging in there and I know that it's, and I know that it's because He's posing. <laughs> I drink this shake out of a straw because it lasts way longer if I do that. 
uh, and then going to get a pedicure with my mom. So you guys will see Jules soon, because I know people have been asking for a guest appearance. Before I go, I want to show you what I'm going to be eating for uh, what I'm packing to bring with me. Uh, because it's four o'clock and it'll be meal number three. Uh, it is uh, ground beef, 93 or 2% lean, uh, asparagus and a Joseph wrap, so that's easy taking it with me. But I like to, when I open a package of turkey burgers, I like to write how many ounces it is so I know when I'm planning like this one's 5.6, this one's 5.36, 5.4. Uh, their closest one was almost five and a uh, half or something. So I had to make the adjustment. But if you know, then just label them and then you can grab them out of the fridge when you need them. We've got a lot of patties in here. Uh, we've been on a ground beef kick. An avocado in the fridge. I don't, do you keep an avocado in the fridge? Do you? I don't know. And then my new vision meals and blueberries and peanut butter. And a diet snapple back there. Out the door we go. The dirty truth is that you are not a fitness competitor until you bring Cutco knives with you to the nail salon in your purse. I don't know if they're gonna consider this a weapon or not, but we will see. Here. Cutco knives are like, I love my Cutco knives, and that is all. So real quick, Jules is waiting for me. Competition, I will do, I'm actually probably going to do this color of my for my nails. You can do a French, or I generally suggest like a light pink uh, or neutral nude color. I do not recommend matching your suit and your nail color at all save yourself a money save yourself some money and don't get a French on your toes no one sees your toes do light pink or nude yeah I do have days like that not today though I have lots of energy today want to drink that so bad. <laughs> this is hers. All right, you ready? Just repost it. Light pink. This is what you should do on... No one wants to see my feet. That's what you should do on show day. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Successful pedicure waiting for someone to yell something like meat is murder while I was eating so this is going to conclude the video for today because it's 6 p.m. and I have a lot of work to do um, if you are interested in joining me for a six-week um, program it's not a challenge uh, necessarily like my eight-week challenge but we are doing a six-week bikini body online training program you can follow the link or you can email me or ask me questions and uh, we can get you started be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful for first time competitors or not and we will see you soon so good This is exactly why you count macros because if you track food and you say like six spears of asparagus, this asparagus is literally bigger than my head 
and it weighs like 40 grams. So you can't log, if you're logging food and you're trying to count macros, you should be weighing it because it won't be accurate if you say six spears of asparagus and they're this giant. Just saying.